Hello and welcome to tutorial 9 for EdPi. In this video we are going to be talking about events and event handlers. Now, an event is anything that can happen to Edison from outside. So this can be stuff like Edison transitioning from a white line to a black line, Edison seeing any obstacles, Edison getting a remote code or some IR data or hearing a clap. Any of its sensors that can be activated have an event to trigger those or can trigger an event. Now, an event basically means to Edison that something has happened and if we say we want an event handler, that tells Edison that when an event happens, we want to stop whatever we were doing and go over to that event handler and do whatever the event handler tells us to do. So we can set an event handler using the ed.register event handler function and then we need to give it an event that it needs and then we need to give it the name of one of our own functions that we have created. See the video on functions as to how to create your own functions. So what this does is wherever Edison is when that particular event happens, it will immediately stop whatever it was doing and jump to the function that we've told it uh, to run when that event happens. So in my case, I have set up a very, very simple bounce inside borders program. When this program first turns on, it activates the line tracking LED, which means Edison can look for white surfaces and black surfaces. It registers the event handler that when uh, Edison sees a black surface, it jumps to the avoid line function, which is down the bottom, and then it gets into the actual program. So the main program is while true, which means this is an infinite loop, Edison is just going to drive forward at speed 5 for distance unlimited, which means this loop is repeating constantly all the time and Edison just keep going, yep, I'm driving forwards, I'm driving forwards, I'm driving forwards, I'm driving forwards, until such time as a black line is hit. So it's just going to keep doing this until a black line is hit. Then the register event handler tells Edison to jump down to the avoid line. Edison then spins to the left at speed 5, 100 degrees, so it's now turning and facing away from the line. And once this is done, Edison jumps back up to where it was in the main section of the code. So in this case, it's either going to be in this while true line or it's gonna be in the ed.drive unlimited line. And it's going to then continue on. So what it would mean is it would then turn the drive back on to drive forwards for at speed five for distance unlimited and it's gonna keep going. So this is going to then bounce around inside borders. Now. Uh, these event handlers are very powerful and can do a whole lot of stuff. They allow Edison to react pretty much instantly as soon as something has happened. And over in the help text over here, you can see there is a whole bunch of different events that you can use to trigger an event handler. Now, all of these, like I said, can be used and all you need to do is place them into here. And then whatever you put after that point is going to be triggered as soon as that event happens, which means Edison will react very, very quickly. So there you go, that is event handles in EdPi. Hope you have enjoyed that one and we will see you in the next video.